since we have just recently started the in-ground services, which is involving the stormwater and the uh, sewer services uh, to, the, to the building. There will be also water mains, uh, reticulation rights around the uh, ring main around the site as well. We are really looking at installing just the main lines at the moment and then we take all the, the smaller lines off to the building at a later date once the mains are actually in. We spend a lot of time liaising with the local councils, the, both the Greymouth and the Westland District Council and uh, they've been very, very good in terms of accommodating us for, uh, for inspections because we can't leave the trenches open too long because of that actual weather. Uh, the, the weather adversities that we do sometimes face. So they're great, we can, uh, they come along and they can inspect all the pipelines uh, and ensure that they're happy with their compliance and then we can backfill them um, and it's a health and safety and also environmental uh, with the weather issue if we have them open too long. The, uh, the stormwater itself is, is literally um, directly out into the lagoon, however there is no other groundwater can get into the system. Um, the manhole lids um, are all sealed, so uh, it is only fresh water that does go uh, out into, uh, into the lagoon. In recent weeks we've had the uh, prefabricated uh, reinforcing steel placed uh, for the foundation beams in the north wing. Uh, once the reinforcing is, is tied we'll um, begin pouring these beams, uh, so the concrete will be pumped into the, um, into the reinforcing, ultimately encasing the reinforcing and forming our foundation beams. Uh, piling is tracking along well. So here we have the uh, 1.8 metre deep foundation beams. Uh, you'll see they are getting fixed in place at the moment, ready for a pour. Uh, the interesting thing here is where we're standing, the, uh, the ground floor height, uh, lower ground floor height, sorry, uh, for the hospital will actually be 600 mils higher than the top of the reinforcing steel that you can see there. The pouring of this section of the building will take place in three stages. Uh, the first stage will be the, uh, the large beams, the 1.8 metre beams will be uh, poured first, uh, then we'll do the perimeter beams and then we'll travel south on the building.